What up, Pride? It's your boy Mari back at again with another reaction video. Today we're getting into another MGRR OST. I've already reacted to two of these so far. They'll be linked in all the necessary places. If you haven't seen them, definitely make sure to go check them out. But because I enjoyed those videos so much and you guys seem to enjoy them as well, we're gonna be getting into another one called Rules of Nature. So I'm not gonna take up too much more time and I'll be seeing all of you guys on the other side. Interesting so far. I like the buildup of the intro. There are a lot of things that at first glance seem like, okay, where is this going? But it all starts to come together as you add each individual layer. And then coming into this first verse, let's say, I don't, I don't know if it's the chorus of the verse, but let's just say it's the first verse. You have the singer coming in with a lower register. This sounds like it's the same singer from the last two songs which again i'm not sure if that is the actual composer themselves or if it's another uh, musician who they're just using a lot and so i really like the way that this is coming together so far with all of the different layers that are being added onto it that each bring their own like almost intentional chaos if that if that makes sense i'm not sure if that's gonna make sense to you guys it makes sense in my brain though so we're just gonna go with that but um yeah Before, before it keeps going, because it's just every time I'm like, okay, something just happened. I'm gonna, I'm gonna let that play out. Then I'm gonna pause. I'm gonna talk about what's happening. And before it plays out, something else is added. <laughs> I really like the way that the percussion section keeps switching up. It keeps you a little off balance, but like in a dancey way. It's kind of like if you're standing there, you're solid, right? But it, it can be boring to just stand there versus if you're spinning. You may not be as foundationally secure, but it's more fun. And and that's kind of what this song is. Like so many things are coming in and out of the, the composition that keep it fun. Now, in my last two reactions, I've learned that the way that I hear it on YouTube is not exactly how it happens in the game. One of the songs, like certain things don't happen in the song until certain things happen in the game. Like you have to do things to trigger sections of music, which by the way, I think that that's fucking awesome. And then the other song, they took it and they looped it in like a specific way to give it like a more traditional song structure. So I'm not sure how this is in the games. For anyone who is seeing me for the first time, I've never played this game before. The most MGR experience that I have is like being at a friend's house and watching him play solid, which Obviously that's not the same as like playing this game and like, like really in-depthly knowing like what the soundtrack is like. So I don't know how this sounds outside of this. I can only go based off this, but the way that it develops is so interesting because like I said, when I was trying to find a place to pause, every time you feel like something is going to 
happen in this way, zigs when you expect it to zag, it's, it's bringing something else in before the last thing is brought out. And so very interesting, very um, complex composition to follow. I bet that the track stack, so like the different, if you've ever seen a DAW where like all of the audio files and like you can see the different waves like stacked on top of each other. I bet that this looks super insane. <laughs> I would love to see like a behind the scenes or something of that. I know like when games get popular enough, like sometimes they like go back and talk to the composer or if they expect it to be popular, they may like film some stuff during the process of creating it. If that exists for this, please let me know in the comment section down below. Okay, I need to ask, was, was that a, an editor's break or was that like an intentionally choppy transition? Because I have different feelings on it depending on who did it. If, if it was an accidental thing, no shade at all. I don't know who this person is, but I would assume that this person is not a world renowned composer. I don't even know like what musical background they have, so I can't really fault them. In fact, I appreciate them for providing this content to me. If this was done by the composer, my level of respect for them is already so high that I'm I'm going to give them the benefit of the doubt. That is a very interesting artistic uh, choice, artistic liberty that was taken. You get the point. They did something there that was very interesting. It was jolting. It's kind of like, I don't know. It didn't give me frisian. Frisian. It is the like, scientific name for the chills that you get like when you hear something and like your hair stands up on end kind of like you're a black cat or something and you get like that chill down your spine that's the name for it frisian or i think it's a french word so it might be like frisson or, or something stupid like that yeah shots at all french people just kidding i love you guys i don't know you guys that like love you i don't actually know that many french people french americans are cool french canadians are cool i don't know too many authentic authentic, you know, snail eating Louvre going to, I'm sure authentic French people don't actually go to the Louvre, but whatever, French people. Uh, so I have no feelings on you guys, but the memes about you guys are awesome. So, you know, thanks for that. Um, I didn't get that feeling, but it, it's a similar kind of like, whoa, kind of jolt to your system with that like abrupt transition. And again, my level of respect for this particular composer, just based on the previous works that I've heard from this person now is so high that I have to give him the benefit of the doubt and say that that was intentional, in which case, dope. <laughs> One thing that's basic, like from a from a production standpoint, but is totally awesome and adds so much depth and dynamics to the song, is every time he goes for those like powerful scream notes, the ad libs or the the backing vocals do this thing where they're panned so that they bounce from side to side, and I think that that's really cool because it adds like a an even deeper emotional level to it. I'm not sure if you guys can hear it with whatever equipment that you're using. If you have speakers or uh, headphones, earbuds, whatever, but just like pay attention to that, like what's going on in the background, because there are so many small things that happen in songs like that, that give extra weight or gravity to moments that are often either completely missed <laughs> by just everyday people or they don't care. Like, but that doesn't happen on accidents. Like someone had to sit there and, and program that, or they could have done it the hard way and then just had like, I don't think they did this, but you could theoretically record two separate backing vocals, pan them separately and then on each one. It's, I, I don't actually know what the word is, but let's say it's rise, rise, space, 
rise, space, rise. And then on the other one, it's space, rise, space, right that's like it's like super old school like some people are are really into that like doing everything in like in like a retro kind of vibe of like a oh it makes the music sound better if you do it like in the way music has been made for the last 80 years or whatever i i'm in my 20s i don't feel that way like i'm not i'm not a hipster at all in that way i i just i'm i'm gonna do it the easiest way and there are ways that you can program it to like one track to do that for you but regardless it's not the point way off track here i would apologize but i'm probably gonna do it again before the song's over so just like if the side tangents bother you i don't know why the hell you're still here because that's that's what i do over here but anyway i like the small little nuanced things that happen in this song some of which that like if i touched on you wouldn't even really notice so this one i think should be very noticeable to people once i point it out and those things add extra umph to the song. Not like the song needs it, because like, my God, all these songs are balls to the walls, a million miles per hour. But um, still, for the boss battle or whatever part of the game that this is, it's a really cool touch. Okay, they did it again. Again, I ask you, just in case you skip past that last rank, because I was talking too much before you got to like the actual question of what I was trying to say. Everything is happening, and then it kind of like hits a wall, rules of nature, and the song comes back in. Is that intentional? If you don't know, you probably don't. You weren't there. If you were there, cool. Hit me up. Let's do some work. Just kidding. Uh, I'm not kidding. I am shameless self-promoter. Let's come do some music. That sounded really weird. Moving on, if it happens in the game, if it doesn't happen in the game, I'm curious. I'm still amazed that, like this was this guy's first venture into metal, especially if the singer is also the composer, because I feel like uh, his growl tones are very good. Like his screamo is is really strong, you know, for for someone who's like never done that before. Like that's pretty sick, dude. Shouts out to you for that. I wouldn't be able to just pick up a genre that I have zero experience in and like kick ass at it this hard from the composition to the singing that's so dope this dude is super talented and obviously his cleans are going to be good because if he's a singer most singers have decent cleans by cleans i mean like his like traditional like chest voice singing duh most genres you're using some version of like a clean tone but most genres you're not using those same style of growling and screaming singing and so for him to to be able to do that so effectively i think is super dope
dope. Okay, so yeah, that was really good. Uh, people always ask me to like rank the ones I've reacted to anytime I react to new songs from new things or artists. I'm not sure how I would, would rank the, the The first song that I reacted to is definitely the best of the three, in my opinion. Um, this one versus the last one is, they're so different, so that's really hard to do. I'm gonna say this one might be third. But that could also just be like baby nostalgia. And what I mean by baby nostalgia is like, you know, I've listened to the other songs more than this one. Uh, but this song was really good. This guy is so talented. This game, it sounds fire. It's, it's like without even seeing any gameplay from it, it sounds fire. It sounds super intense and really fun. And I get why so many people like it. So yeah, let me know what you guys thought about this particular song and the different things that I touched on. I'm curious and I do read all the comments. I can't respond to all of them, but I do read all of them. So if you made it this far, definitely make sure to comment down below. And while you're at it, like, subscribe and share not to miss any more content like this. And I'll be seeing all of you guys on the channel next time.